Good morning. Well, it's always a pleasure to have a Food Network star in my kitchen today. Laura Calder from French Food at Home. Welcome. Thank you. And you also did French Taste. French Taste. But then today we're going to do, I don't have the cookbook yet, but we have Dinner Chez Moi. And you're going to be back in the fall at Barbara Joe's Books to Cooks doing a yep. cooking class. But today we have a recipe that you're going to do from we your new book. We have a recipe. Book. Well, the thing about this new book is that it's very much, uh, it's not French food. It's called Dinner Chez Moi, The Fine Art of Feeding Friends. And it's kind of dinner parties, although that term's a bit, you know how people yeah, feel about it. Yeah, it's kind of loose. <laughs> it's kind of loose. But it's about feeding people you love and, and in different ways. And so a lot of the recipes come from friends and from stories. because so I've been traveling a lot in the last two years. And this is a salad that someone made when I went to Singapore. I wonder when I, I forget if I went. I guess it was early spring around March. So freezing here. Okay. And but it's always hot and humid in Singapore. Always hot and humid. So you get off the plane and you're a puddle. And you don't want, you, you're hungry, but not really. But it has all classic Mediterranean ingredients. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of very Italian-like, which is what I mean. Okay. I've got, a, there's a lot of English stuff in that book, a bit of Italian, some French. Um, but this is a great thing to make on a, I mean, it, when you have people over and you have no time and you're hot and ugh, yeah. this is it. So what do we have? So you have white beans, Cannellini, cooked. yes. Cannellini beanies. Okay. Uh, tuna. Yes. Celery. Ce celery, yeah. Roasted peppers. Okay. I love roasted peppers, especially it brings the natural sweetness. Yeah. yeah. I do it all the, sometimes I just, when I have a whole bunch of them, I cut them all up. You throw them in the oven at 300 for whatever, two hours. Yes. And they get nice and soft and you can use them all week. Okay. So um, let's get going. Okay. Here we go. You know, usually I just use my hands, but you can't tell people that, can you? So say you want a cup of beans. I'll just make a half amount because okay. it's just, you're hungry, you said. Yeah, okay. But I just ate. And I love cannellini beans, you know. They're nice big, they're almost like big white kidney beans, don't you think? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. you can use probably, it doesn't okay. matter, either one. But I like the, um, I like, you know, sometimes you just don't want a big, heavy, meaty meal, but yes. you want the protein anyway. I have legumes in the fridge all the time, so I'm and, putting all... And you're using the Italian tuna in olive oil. Sometimes I get it in jars packed in oil, and it's, it's still, it's, it's less, you know, it doesn't fall apart as much, and it holds together. It costs an arm and a leg. But, yes, yeah. Um, taste is worth it. <laughs> so celery. Celery. Some chopped celery. Are you going to get on me for food styling here? I'm just... No, 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 just go for it. It's quite, you know, generous amounts of things. Red and yellow. We'll probably get more the flavors evolve too as the longer it sits. Well, the thing that's shock. I mean, this in a way this doesn't look like it's that you know original, but the taste is really amazing, and I was astonished. I do like garlic, but not too much. Some and then olives. you have chopped kalamatas. Yeah. Olives. It's pretty. Mm, it's very pretty. Bright and sunshiny. Okay. Now this is the zest of a whole lemon. Okay. I'm putting it all in there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. And. And this uh, juice of a whole lemon. Now, you'll probably think that it's not just a squeeze. It's a real monsoon of lemon juice. No, that's is, always a great idea, too, to get your fork in there or if you don't have a reamer, you know. Just yeah. Uh, lots of fresh parsley. Flat leaf parsley. Flat not, leaf. Not, yeah, it has more flavor than oh, curly I just, stuff. I was in a curly situation a couple of weeks ago. I couldn't, there was nothing else in the store. And it's a disappointment because, especially when it gets all limp. Yeah, yeah. Lots of pepper. Lots of pepper. Now, this is instantaneous dinner. Can I put my yep, fingers in yep. there? Some and, salt. And salt, nice. Of course, and salt. And you want some olive oil? And in loads there? of olive oil, okay. too. Go ahead, pour. Okay. Lots of olive oil. Lots of olive oil. And the reason why is that you serve some this more? salad. Uh, it's mm -hmm. probably good. You're eating it. Okay, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm eating it. Okay, okay. I think I want some more parsley. Sorry. More parsley. Just okay. a little. Um, I might as well throw these in too. You sort of, you know, I, I do have measurements in the book, but then I never pay attention. I just sort of go. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> and these are crunchy. So you get nice, like, the, you get a depth of sweetness from the peppers, and you get crunch the crunch of texture. Fr from uh, the celery. celery. This soft sort of firmness and earthiness from beans, and then garlic and oil and all this stuff. And then you have this very oh, pretty salad. Oh, this looks colorful, and it's beautiful. I can smell the lemon. All that lemon juice. <laughs> <laughs> and then you pile it on this nice... Uh, uh, toasted bread, which you've uh, soaked in, some you know, not oil. doused, not soaked, yeah. doused in olive oil, some and crostinis. toasted, yeah. and then you pile it on top. So, oh. and then it soaks in. So all that oil and, and lemon juice ultimately just goes sinking into oh, the bread. Oh, that looks and, so good. And uh, it's very healthy, and it's just the thing you want on a hot night. And you need a knife and fork for this, right? Oh, you need a knife yeah, and fork. Yeah, you oh, yeah. Bring it up to your to no, uh, no, no, your, no. <laughs> your mouth and all over. Proper, well, but um. 
Pretty Laura, welcome. thank you so much for coming onto my patio here. Thank you. And you know, it looks great. Your new book, Dinner Chez Moi with Laura Calder from the Food Network. And till next time, have Til a great day. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye.